So today, the British Prime Minister in the Houses of Parliament was forced to answer a simple, direct question. Will you resign? It was asked by the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer, as intense pressure mounts on Boris Johnson over a party held in the garden of his Downing Street home at the height of the British lockdown in 2020. Well, the Prime Minister dodged that question, but he did apologise for attending the event, saying initially he thought it was a work gathering. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. I know that millions of people across this country have made extraordinary sacrifices over the last 18 months. I know the anguish that they have been through, unable to mourn their relatives, unable to live their lives as they want or to do the things they love. When I went into that garden just after six on the 20th of May 2020 to thank groups of staff before going back into my office 25 minutes later to continue working, I believed implicitly that this was a work event. Well, listening to the Prime Minister's address was our uh, London correspondent, Benedict Pavio, and she's on the line for us now. Benedict, um, what's reaction been in the Houses of Parliament to the Prime Minister's apology? And I suppose the key question is, did he say enough to keep his job? Well, very many questions after this uh, apology from the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, a much awaited session, a very uh, noisy and many very angry MPs and not just in the opposition benches. So uh, I think it's very important to underline that first it was a very full House of Commons. That's not surprising. But we have a first here. Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the main opposition party, the Labour Party, has been asked repeatedly by many of his own MPs to call uh, on previous revelations for the Prime Minister's resignation. He's never done so until now. So Sir Keir Starmer asked if the Prime Minister was going to resign. Boris Johnson uh, clearly uh, said that uh, he wasn't uh, going to. Um, but Keir Starmer pressed. He has six questions at Prime Minister's Questions. Um, he told the Prime Minister he'd, quote, run out of road over what had happened in the Downing Street Garden in May 2020, uh, when staff had held this party. It was clearly a party. Often the government hides behind the word, it's a gathering. So when all the MPs heard Boris Johnson in his, in his apology, uh, just before launching into questions from MPs from all sides, uh, talk about a work event. Is this the way that Boris Johnson will continue to defend uh, himself uh, and say basically that the garden of Downing Street is a prolongation of the office? Many people are saying this simply, including in his own party, this won't wash. Is he trying to ride this out? This is uh, very much the accusation. Uh, this was certainly the first exchange between Sir Keir Starmer, who's just come out of COVID isolation, and it was a very boisterous uh, one. So we had the Scottish National Party again asking for Boris Johnson's resignation, the Liberal Democrats as well. But as I say, the most significant one is the fact that the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, has now asked for Boris Johnson's face-to-face -face, uh, resignation. He also said the PM's excuse is ridiculous and insulting, and he said that the British public uh, know that Boris Johnson is lying through his teeth. So is Boris Johnson buying time at this very dangerous, precarious political time and full-blown crisis in his authority, in his credibility, including within his own governing Conservative Party? And will this be enough? Those are the questions uh, that need to be answered. Many MPs including in his own party, are saying it won't be enough. So is it a question of how long and not when or if he will resign? Benedict Pavio in London for now. Thanks very much indeed.